internet guys we back with another one and today we got to talk about linda rambis uh kurt rambis's wife Jeannie Buss and LeBron James video from last night is going viral and I think this comes like a week after the Malika Andrews kiss on LeBron James. I know some people in the comment section disagree with what I was saying but all I was basically saying was why would she kiss LeBron on the cheek like that um you know you could hear loud and clear on the microphone and that's not how she greets everybody I could see if she greeted Ja and all those people that came on her show the same way uh when they come on NBA TV, but she didn't even want Jalen Rose, or well, it wasn't even Jalen Rose, it was Richard Jefferson actually, to put his hand under her armpit and tickle her and play games like that. So, if you're that type of person, no kissing, no touching, no nothing, just keep it linear and don't deviate from your moral compass that you know that you try to establish. So, she kissed LeBron last week, and I was showing y'all that clip right there. But last night, man, Linda Rambis, which is more of a problem for Kurt Rambis. He need to be saying something. I think, I don't know if her mouth made contact with LeBron James' arm, but you can see the way she's rubbing his biceps and, you know, kind of fetishizing over him. And you see Jenny Buss, she's done this with LeBron before where she lays down on his arm. And she's a very uh, flirtatious owner. You know what I'm saying? So that's, We've seen this before with her, but when I seen Linda Rambis and all that, I was thinking like over the last few weeks, these things has happened and everybody talking about what Savannah was going to do. LeBron's going to sleep on the couch and all that stuff they saying, but uh, let's look at these videos, man. I, w I really want y'all to see this and I want to know your thoughts. Let's peep. <laughs> So when you see that, what do you think? Because I seen the internet going crazy over it this morning. And when I saw it, when I saw what Jeannie did, I've seen Jeannie do that to LeBron before. I've seen her like that with other players. So I'm not sure that she wouldn't behave that way in front of Savannah. Now, will, she, will Savannah check her or not? Who knows? Um, but, you know, I've seen that type of behavior from Jeannie. So I don't necessarily know what to make of that. She's kind of flirtatious to me, always been that type of owner or you know well her father was on in the team but i'm saying she's been around the team and she's always been a bit flirtatious uh you know she was like that with magic so many others um kobe others you know she was always like that but linda rambis you know the rub on his arms and you know act like you're gonna bite his arm or kiss his arm and all that stuff on tv that's an embarrassment you know to kurt rambis and you know i wanted i i I want to say this, LeBron handled that cool, calm, and collected like he didn't get it out of his body and he, or he didn't snatch his arm away or do anything. He just kind of played it off um, like he did with the Malika Andrews kiss and different things like that. Uh, and I thought what Malika did was disrespectful because she's a younger woman doing that type of stuff, you know, who Savannah sees and is like, you know, now nah, you, you in your 20s or early 30s, you know, you... You somewhere in there you need to get away from him that's how savannah would probably perceive that so um i want to come react to this man uh as far as being like a married man you know if too much of this happens you do have to hear about it from your wife at home now savannah doesn't go out there and embarrass lebron on public platforms or nothing like that she doesn't say anything that can be misconstrued by the media or taken out of context and make their family look bad so i want to commend her on that she doesn't get emotional and go bash bash lebron james in public you know what i'm saying so a uh, shout out to her for that but i do think you know if this type of stuff keeps happening 
she will have a little more to say to him in the house. Man, you can make the house uneasy. These women need to be careful doing this type of stuff because, you know, Savannah has feelings and she's been with LeBron for so long and everything, man. You, These women got to be mindful of that because LeBron is not doing necessarily anything wrong. You know, he's just... He's just right there. You know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't blaming Brian for this. Uh, I just noticed the camera's been capturing a lot of women throwing themselves at him lately. And only reason I'm talking about this is you see, like, some of these less credible women coming out saying that LeBron was in their DMs. He did all this and all that with other, we- with other women along the way. And, you know, when you hear stuff like that over time, it'll bother anybody, man. And, and Savannah, like I said, has done a great job handling these things. And being LeBron James' wife, like, most people can't handle that. You know what I'm saying? Most people can't handle that. And it just, I know she sees flagrant disrespect by women who just adore LeBron so much. You know, even when she with them, you know, these women don't care. Um, just like this towards celebrities, they'll, they'll do anything to try to get with LeBron. So, um... I, I, I would like for some of these women to be more mindful and show Savannah a little more respect. She ain't out here bothering nobody. She's doing a great job being LeBron's wife. I know she's doing like some modeling and different things now. So that, that would be my take. But I want to know what y'all think. Is this an overreaction by the internet? Do y'all feel like um this is much of nothing and people just don't have nothing to talk about? Or do you feel like, man, there's some validity there and they probably need to ease up on LeBron a little bit and show his family a bit more respect. You know, his young daughter, his two sons, his wife, him, you know, show him a little more respect. You ain't got to be so touchy, kissy, feely, you know, leaning all over a married man like that. But let me know, guys. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. To next time. Peace. Skip tweeted something, and although I disagree with the tweet, uh, and, and uh, hopefully uh, Skip would take it down. No, I'm not going to take it down. Oh. Yep.